uh, power supplies, how a rectifying diode. Sama tayo nagpunukan sa rong stop on the discuss stop or discussion about diode. <coughs> Okay, 14. <coughs> Let me say... Okay. <clears throat> uh, before we proceed on sub on the subject, even before I forgot to discuss to you about electrical safety, very important pala. <laughs> I just remember it came into my mind. Okay. So let's uh, let's for, for a moment uh, discuss about electrical. Safety. Okay. When when we say safe, safety, what what comes into your mind when you hear the word safety? Okay. Now we'll let see. Ano? Now we'll let us see. See we. Ano yun? The jump board. That's why hindi maganda ang ano. Anyway, hirap nito. <laughs> Let me discuss now uh, about electrical safety. 
you know, electricity is really, re really a dangerous science because uh, a one wrong move, one wrong, one error, a fatal error can cause life, it can cause your property. So electrical safety is, uh, I think, one of the first and foremost topics that should be discussed. I forgot this to deliver to you, even in the electrical engineering. So when does when does the no are na no are na kakaigwa ki electrocution? Okay. Um, what are the risk in safety? Anyway, safety. When we discuss, when we hear the word safety, okay. We, what comes into your into our mind? Uh, to me, what what comes into my mind when I remember this word safety? Um, uh, uh, it awares, it gives me an awareness of possible danger. So to me, safety is just an awareness. awareness of risk and or danger if you are aware that a possibility of accident can happen then you are thinking about safety so awareness of awareness of accident Okay. Kapag kapag na hiling mo na mati mo na pwedeng magkaigwa ki aksidente then you begin to observe safety. So safety is actually uh, an awareness in which we need to have the right information in order to be able to recognize or appreciate that in a certain thing, in a certain situation, in a certain place, in a certain action, uh, risk or danger or accident can happen. So in electricity, we must be able to understand what are the risks, what are the danger there is in, in, involved in electricity. Or simply, Example of this risk, siyempre, electrocution. Makurinti ka, no? Electrocution. Another, maybe fire. Okay? Uh, a short circuit current. A, a, a faulty devices electrical device can cause heat and this heat can cause to ignite and begin combustion because fire of course fire produces fire arises from heat ano kapag may heat kapag nag-init ang susunod niyan ay fire okay kapag nagkaroon ng fire yung heat magko-continue. Okay. So, damage to property. Kung nasulo na ang sa imong, kung nasulo na ang sa imong gamit, yan, pwede na yan mangyari. What else? <clears throat> so, this, this basically are the three common examples of the risk that is incorporated in the presence of electricity that is electrocution that can cause death or you know paralysis uh, what do you call that disability okay but disable ka oh yeah mangyari fire when uh, there is short circuit the electric wires becomes heated and combustion burns 
and then fire will continue and then fire will travel wherever there is there are combustible material fire will continue there so itong mga damages uh, can be a cause of this this fire or bursting of gadget for example ang charger ng cellphone mo pag napasala ka na hindi pala pwedeng uh, hindi pala pwede sa 220 kasi 110 volts na saksak mo na sisira yung appliances mo na sisira if they, they are not properly used in a particular uh, specification <coughs> now when, when is electrocution happens no rin no rin ka nakukuryente uh if this is a line let's say this is the line from yung mga puste ano okay nag nag kuang ka sa puste ano may mga line yan there, there is another line here okay often this line that is in between the post this one this is zero volt meaning to say this is the ground or this is the common and this line at below here is the 220 volts okay ac okay now this line you will notice kung ilingon mo yun dyan sa puste sa puste sa aleko api yung wire na nakakonek dyan okay this serves as the ground okay on ground <clears throat> why is the ground important in the system take note that this wire which is zero potential which is the ground is located in the middle ito this line is the 200 uh, 13,200 volts ito itong line na ito ano itong line na ito is 220 volts. So from here, it's 220 volts. You notice why is it that the zero, the ground is in the middle? Uh, the reason for this is to protect the any interference of the high voltage between the uh, distribution to the houses and the distribution to the transformers. Ito bagang line na ito, mahiling mo dyan, may transformer dyan. Ano? <coughs> may bilog na transformer dyan. Oh. Itong transformer ito trans nakakonek yan yan. Yung isang transformer nakakonek dito. <clears throat> yung secondary ng transformer yung nakakonek yan. 220 volts na. Okay. So in order to protect the 220 volts in case of accident of fault wiring in the or any disturbance on the physical structure of the line here at least it's going to be protected by the zero right away when this line touches zero there is going to be a automatic disconnection at the sending end dun sa simula ng power plant mapuputol yan okay now you will wonder why if there is a bird may bayong na nagtugdun ligdi ano Nagtugdun dyan. Hindi na, hindi na kukuryente. Narinig ba ako ninyo? <laughs> okay, yes, okay. Hindi, na, hindi na kukuryente. Hindi na kukuryente kasi the bird touches only one one line. We know, we know that in order for electricity to uh, be you know, to, to be conducted, there must be a complete circuit. Di ba? So, ganito yan. Kung ika, yaong kadigdi, nakuputan mo yung ground. Okay? Paano ba yan? Nakaputan mo yung ground, tapos na tuntungan mo ini, o sigurado. Because the current from the 220 volts will pass to you. Yan. 
Pag dumaan yung current dyan sa iyo, because our body is a conductor, they say it only needs uh, I'm uh, exactly I'm not sure but it only needs 70 milliamperes. A current of 70 milliamperes to pass your body is enough to damage your brain. Mamatay ang iyong nerve. At pag namatay yung nerve mo, hihinto yung utak mo. Pag huminto yung utak mo, hihinto yung puso mo. So magagalan ka. And it is sad that if more than 70 milliampere passes your body, what happens is the high passage of current will cause your your flesh, your skin, even your bones to burst. Puputok yan, sumasabog yan. Kaya si mga nakurinti, ini yung mga, si mga kamot, diyan doon na dadaan, ikikita mo, sumasabog yan. So, ngayon, kapag sumabog na yung lalo na sa mga veins, sa mga ugat. Uh, blood is present there. The, the blood, you know, the blood contains high percentage of iron. And iron is a conductor. So, the conduction of electricity in the blood causes the blood to coagulate. Causes the blood to be depleted of oxygen. O kapag dilipit ng oxygen at pumasok sa utak mo, yung utak mo madilipit ng oxygen, mamamatay ka. That's why. Yan ang effect ng electrocution. Now you will ask me, why is it that this zero, this zero volt is grounded? Naka, naka ano dito? Naka kwan sa lupa? Okay. Now this is what, by the way, Let's continue this. So, if you are, if you get in touch across the line, across the two line between the zero volts and the 220 volts, surely you will get electrocuted. In the same way, kung nandito ka, you touch the 220 volts and you are standing on the ground, okay, you are connected to the ground. So the current will go to the ground. Okay? Oi. Say, ah. Okay. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so ayo yun ang mangyari. If you are if you are touching the ground and then you you touch the live wire, tawag nito natin. This is live. Okay, this is the live wire. Okay, wire ito. If you touch this and then you are on the ground, uh, you will feel electrocution. So when working on the high voltages on electric uh, uh, high tension uh, system, you usually wear protective gloves. Gumagamit ka ng uh, gloves. Your anti yeah, high high resistance glove, and then you wear a safety shoes. Okay. So, kung may gloves ka, matouch mo naman yan, there is going to be no conduction. Safe ka. Okay? Now, you notice in... When you buy a... For example, uh, when you buy a refrigerator, 
you will notice that yung yung power cord niya tatlo ang naka tatlo ang nakausli na prone okay tatlo okay one of this this one in the middle that is the ground what is this ground this ground is connected this ground is connected dito sa body ang body ng refrigerator mo made of metal diyan nakakonek ang ground so ground connection nasa body ground tawag niyan body ground dito so yung zero at saka yung live pumapasok hindi siya nakadikit kung saan dyan. You will ask, bakit ang ground ay nakadikit? Bakit ang body ng refrigerator ay nakaground na nakapunta doon at nakaground? So anyway, itong ground na ito, pag sinundan mo ito, dapat i-coconnect mo ito papunta sa lupa. Na dapat sa bahay, mayroong grounding para yung lahat ng ground wire ng appliances they are all should be connected to the body of that appliances and then connected to the ground bakit it is connected to the ground because in the event that one the two the live wire if the live wire let's say this this is the live wire then there is a fault inside and then it touches the body the live wire will go to the body touch the body and go to the ground okay if you are here okay and then you touch the body of the refrigerator and then you are connected to the ground current here at your body will be zero okay no current will flow into your body because the potential of the body of the refrigerator and the ground is zero okay zero volt the potential between here and here is zero volt okay because the ground is zero volt now what happens uh Kung ito na yung refrigerator mo, <coughs> palakay natin ano. Ito yung ground sa body. Tapos ito yung kwan. Uh, pumasok na. Naka-shielded. Ano? Insulated. Ito man insulated. Okay. So, yung wire pumasok na sa compressor pasok sa compressor. So hindi yung yung wire niya hindi nagtatat sa body. Okay. Now, sabi natin kanina itong ground nito naka punta sa lupa. So kung if you touch this uh, the the voltage is the voltage is 0 volt. Now what happens for example, if this is this wire is cut and then it, after it is cut, it touches the body. So the current will go into the body and then go to the ground. And if that is a high current body, there is a fuse, protection fuse. Oh, this is a fuse. Uh, actually, that is fusible link. Tawag yan. A fusible link is a is a device that when high current passes, this will melt. So, kung may high current na pumasok dyan, yan. Tapos sa body, pumunta sa ground. If the fuse is rated to 10 amperes, 
if the current that passes through the body here more than 10 amperes the fuse will immediately burn so when this burns this will be cut off ito mawawala na oh, when it burns the fuse will no longer be able to conduct putol na yung putol na yung circuit isolate na yung ano mga fault now <clears throat> Let's say there is the, the fuse is intact and then you did not connect, you remove the ground wire. When you remove the ground wire, ano nangyari? Hanging. Okay, walang connection ng ground. So, when electric fault occurs in the inside the refrigerator so that the wire happened to touch the body, the body becomes a becomes live okay so yung 220 volts mo dito will be present in the body 220 volts din yung body mo okay so when you touch the body you have a 220 volts so may 220 volts ka oh, sigurado you will feel the electrification Yun ang pinaka, uh, pinaka purpose why the body of all conducting parts in a, but in a, in a gadget where a human being will certainly have a contact with is always grounded. Okay? So, you, you see mga electrical appliances that are made of metal all those body that are exposed where a human being can have an access can can be can touch or you where uh, you will be able to have in contact with that is going to be grounded for that purpose of protection okay now in electronics this, this current is so big to cause damage. So much so that in electronics, small amount of current is enough to <coughs> destroy the equipment. So, ngayon, ito ang, ito ang very classical na example ng pagkasira ng electronics. Di ba kung may TV ka? Ano TV? TV is made of electronics components. And then connected it to sa poste. Okay. You are able to connect to the phone. Tapos doon sa saksakan, sinasaksak mo yung TV mo. Oh, sinasaksak mo. Ngayon, along the way here, yung dugtong dyan, yung splice dyan is loose connection, loose splice. There is a loose splice in the connection. Kumbaga, hindi ga nag spark sabi nila. Pero ang totoo nang dyan, ang loose connection, it's either that the contact has deteriorated kasi nagkaroon ng amag, ano, natunaw na si contact, si area of contact natunaw na. So the result is for, for the metal to be eaten away. Okay. Anong effect nito? Ano effect ito? Kapag, kapag naglulus ang contact, that has a very bad effect on your electronics. Because when, when the contact here is loose, the tendency of the spikes is to, the spark can create tinatawag ng mga voltage spike. O kung ito yung alternating current mo, kapag nag spark yan, May minsan tumataas dyan na even reaching thousands of volts. Though the duration is only in microsecond. Microsecond dura uh, duration. Napaka, napakadali lang. Microsecond pero in the terms of even 10,000 kilovolts. 
Hindi mo yan mararamdaman at ganyan kataas kasi saglit lang. Ano? Saglit lang. Ngayon, ang tinatamaan nitong tinatawag nitong electrical surge. Ang tinatamaan niyan ay yung electronics ng TV. That's why your gadget like your computer, your cell phone, your TV, anything that uses electronic device, uh, anything that making makes use of a semiconductor should be secured in such a way that all the connection lahat ng connection sa power power system should be very rigid ibig sabihin hindi loose making sure that the connection here is very tight <clears throat> uh, meaning to say there is a 100% electrical contact so that there is going to be no voltage spike in between the contact. Once there is a sparking on the contact, pag nagkaroon ng spark dito sa contact, doon na po-produce itong mga voltage surges, itong mga spikes. Okay, surges, uh, uh, voltage spike, okay, spike. Kaya nga spike ta sa atin. Okay, spike. <clears throat> this spike will cause the damaging of the uh, semiconductors. Paano na damage yung semiconductors? <clears throat> Di ba yung yung lecture natin sa diode, the PN junction diode, It's just a material which is dope. So the conduction takes place in such a way that in the boundary limit or in the junction, okay, napakaliit sa na ang gap para yung positive at negative ay mahiwalay. Okay? And there is just a certain voltage between the positive and negative value that this barrier can withstand without destroying the electronic structure of the material. So when a high voltage uh, surges dyan sa junction, okay? if normally this is only powered by a battery, let's say 12 volts, if electrical surge such as lightning hit this, which can range to even, even uh, millions of volts, uh, thousands of volts, what happens is this barrier is destroyed. Kapag na-destroy itong barrier ng PN junction, the tendency is to burn. Okay? Pag nasunog na ito, malaki na ang barrier, hindi na talaga siya mag, hindi na talaga lulusot yung electrons. Oh, kasi lumaki na yung gap. That's why ang reklamo natin kapag kumukurap-kurap ang ilaw, kapag ang mga ilaw kumukurap-kurap, pagbalik ng kung ilang kurap, makikita mo, hindi na umaandar yung TV ninyo. Oh. Hindi na umaandar yung TV kasi tinamaan na ng surge yung Electronics. Siyempre, uh, <laughs> sabi-baga natin, ito yung power supply. Itong transformer doon sa lalaki, doon sa saksakan mo. Oh. 220 volts. Mm, 220. Ito naman, sa kabila ng other transformer, nandito dito na yung mga semiconductors. Okay. Oh in my conductor devices. Oh. Ito na yung si my conductor. Ang si my conductor, yan ang mga na, masyado, napakadelikado kapag tinatamaan ng surge. Kaya, <clears throat> may mga reports, may mga kwento na kumidlat, ano, 
kumidlat lang ngayon, tapos pag kumidlat, yung TV nasira na. It is because the high voltage surge uh, went down into the system, thereby damaging the very sensitive junction of the semiconductor device. Pag sumabog talaga yan, wala, hindi na yan magpapanda. So, uh, I myself, yung computer ng anak ko, I just, just happened to neglect. I, I was thinking, walang problema yung saksakan. You know? <clears throat> so, saksakan kan charger to outlet baga, a wall outlet. <clears throat> So, nakasaksak yung ano niya. I was confident that the there is no nothing is wrong here. So, biglang namatay yung laptop. Okay? So, I, I had to investigate what's wrong, why it just stopped. And when I unplug when I unplug the this, this plug, I noticed that this is hot. O, oh, mainit. <clears throat> uminit yung hot ito, uminit ito, gawa ng nag spark uh, Again, the one of the symptoms that you will notice when a connection is loose, kapag loose connection, a loose connection, will cause heat. Okay? Kaya ba, di ba? Ma, sa, sa bahay nyo, makikita nyo, kapag naglulus ito, ano nangyari? Ang makikita mo dyan ay parang nasusunog. Okay? Nasusunog ito, at nasusunog na ito, makita mo yan, tunaw na. Oh. Natunaw kasi yung imperfect connection between the socket and the plug causes a spark. Yung spark na yun, umiinit yun. At ang, habang umiinit yun, mas lalo siyang maglulus. At tutunawin niya itong mga parts na ito. Yeah. And then, finally lose, mabuti, maswerte kung matibay ang, ang computer mo. Kapag hindi, uh, itong computer mo ang tatamaan. Tatamaan. Kasi nga, yung voltage surges na lumalabas kapag merong spark. Now, with the you know, knowing of the electronics, why this spark? How, how do you detect that this spark is present? Oh, maririnig mo yan. Kung, nari, kung nakikinig ka sa radyo na FM, ayo, makinig ka sa radyo ng FM, Minsan ang pag-switch pag mo ng ilaw, pag nag-switch ka ng ilaw sa kwarto mo, maririnig mo pumipikik-tak. Yung static na yun, napipik up yun ng radio. So, yung click na yun, actually, it already emitted a very high voltage spike. That's why even your FM radio receiver was able to detect the electromagnetic field that was produced when the spark occur. Kita mo? Kaya kahit itong mga switches na inooperate mo kasi every time you put it on, put it off, put it on, put it off, it creates spark. Nagkakaroon ng spark. Remember that every time a contact breaks or makes, there is a sudden inrush of current. Okay? When, when the contact is uh, on and then you switch off, the inrush of current will tend to build up at the end. Kasi, uh, the tendency of the current is to continuously flowing. But you suddenly cut it off. That's why concentration of charge become present at, at the contact. <clears throat> now, momentarily, that's going to... <clears throat> Of course, it dies down, but <clears throat> the charge is already there. That's why when you disconnect, you will see the spark. You know, parang hinahabol niya yung parang hinahabol niya yung pag paghiwalay ng 
ng contact. Okay? Now, during the making of contact and now, again, because initially there is zero current flowing in the wire, by the time you close the contact, is the current will, the, 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 there is an inrush of current, so that inrush of current will cause a spark kasi wala zero current pag pinagdugtong mo na suddenly the current will rush in so the spark is established in the same way the current is rushing in and then hiniwalay mo yung in rush ng current will tend to continue but because it is already disconnected so the excess impulse is going to cause the spark okay so yan ang ano yan ang <clears throat> result kapag oh, so much so that if the connection is just kung baga dahan dahan ng disconnect alimbawa konti lang ito yung switch so tapos nag nag spark spark oh yan yung spark spark na yun that will cause a voltage spike in the line until finally your computer or cellular state device uh, gets da get damaged. Okay, so these are uh, common risks and dangers in electronic devices. Okay, <clears throat> another thing. <clears throat> Another risk in electric electronic risk, electrical risk in electron handling electronic devices, the so-called static static charges. Okay, what is this static charge? <clears throat> the static charge. You know the the classical demonstration of this this uh, static charge, how it develops. It's like that of a story na kung magkuha ka ki sukray na plastic, pagkatapos i igusgus mo sa pantalon mo, maybe ay a pants that is made of polymer, and then after rubbing the plastic comb. You bring your comb close to your hair. You see that the hair seems to be moving towards the comb. So there is a force that is developed in the between the comb and the womb, comb and the, and the hair. And the force is due to the presence of charge. Now the charge in there is static charge. I am not static because uh kung kung ito yung supply mo tapos pag after you uh, rub this to your cloth yung supply mo may charge na ito may charge na ngayon is static kasi nandiyan lang yan hindi hindi gumagalaw so nandiyan na stagnate so the moment that it get uh, contact physical contact or let's say it, it's brought close together that's the time that this charge will collide. That's going to discharge. And then the result is a collision of charge, which is very strong and force that will damage the uh, barrier. Or in, in case of the electronic device, it damages the junction. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, what do you do in order to prevent the charge from accumulating your body. Ang iba niyan, ang, ang gumagawa dyan sa mga factory, sa mga laboratory, sa mga uh, control systems ng ele electronic control systems kapag nagre-repair. Makikita mo meron silang plastic. Uh, actually, that's not only a plastic conductor. It's a kind of a conductor, flexible conductor na plas parang plastic na nakatali sa... Sa, sa, sa arm 
at siya nakakonect sa ground para yung body mo, your hands, your hands is always uh, is always grounded. Meaning to say, walang static charge na naiipon sa katawan mo, sa damit mo, sa kamay. Dahil palaging na nag-ground. Kung mag-receive, halimbawa, I touch one portion, it is charged. Upon touching it, I receive charge right away. The charge that I get will be automatically discharged through the grounding. <coughs> ground ground tie so yun ang mga yeah isa sa mga paraan para sa mga paraan para ma iwasan ang ang static charge is yan uh, may may grounding may grounding wire ka o kaya Iwaasan mo yung mga magsusuot ka ng mga uh, static materials like plastic, polymer. O, cotton also accumulate static charge. Yan. Kapag meron ka ng mga kuha na yan, lalo na kapag anong met tela yun. Um, yan, yeah, yung uh, polymer, polymer ng mga bado, madali yan mag-accumulate ng static charge <clears throat> when you buy kapag magbabakal ka ki, magbabakal ka ki electronic device ibibigay yan sa imo pagbakal mo ang ang electronic device ang binakal mo nakapatos yan sa aluminum okay? nakapatos ng aluminum oil kasi pag pinatos ng aluminum lahat ng terminal ay nakaground you need to say the static charge the potential difference the possibility that there exists a potential difference between terminal is eliminated kasi para rehas na potential sila so if the terminals are all in the same potential there is going to be no no um, no sparking or no no interruption on the barrier when this is terminal connected. Kaya, zero potential, so zero volt, there is going to be no current to be, uh, to pass through. Okay? <clears throat> is there, is there any question about electrical safety? <clears throat> now, kadakol na, mga nagkagaradan ta, na kuryente. Ha? Actually, bako si electric current ang nagadan, ay kagadan. O, alimbawa, <coughs> ini, uh, nag, nagsakat sa ladder. Okay? I, I want up in the ladder. Okay? Ladder siya. And then, for a for something that uh, eh, for some kind of error na touch niya yung maybe uh, an electrical line so nangigkig siya di man siya nagadan kasi pakadudot niya kan line nahulog okay so ang gumina dan siya eh, bako man talaga si kuryente kundi nabugok so utak niya okay so isa yan sa mga situation pero Ang dahilan actually is he was able to nakikig siya kan siya. So the electricity is the initiator of the accident but what really kills is not the electricity but the impact the injury on the body due to impact on the of the fall. Okay? So, isa sa mga, another, mga problema ng safety sa kuryente is mga nasasaksak mo yung hindi tama, hindi compatible ang voltage rating. And appliances which is rated at uh, lower voltage when connected to high voltage, certainly, is going to burst. Puputok talaga yan. 
kasi hindi ano hindi kayang i-sustain yung impedance para malimit yung current. Okay? <clears throat> Uh, aput ko sa inyo kung ma-charge ka mo kang cellphone ah, ma-charge ka kang cellphone ano iniinot mo? sa so charger ah, so cellphone Ito, CP. Cellphone, charger, and then this is outlet. Ano yung iniinot mo? Ano yung iniinot mo? I-connect mo muna itong cellphone at saka uh, charger? O yung charger at saka dun muna sa ano? ano anong iniinot mo? Charger muna sir, tapos susaksak sa outlet sa yung charger ano, ano? Charger tapos outlet sir, saka pag nakasaksak na yung charger sa outlet, saka susaksak sir yung charger, charger muna, sa... tapos saka sa cellphone. Ah, sa cellphone. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> that, uh, in one, in one, uh, for one reason, that is actually safe. Okay. Pero, Araw yan kami. Ganda na natin. This is your outlet. Ano? Uh, <coughs> let us draw uh, the line. You have the output the line output uh, this is your cell phone ano ito na yung load mo uh, ito na yung ito yung cell phone mo yeah so if Pag ininot mo ini, kinunek mo na, of course, there's going to be a present. The voltage will be present. Let's say 5 volts na ito. 5 volts. Ito 220. Okay. And then, when you connect this, suddenly there is going to be an inrush of current. Once you connect this, Uh, kasi at the moment, zero current, ano, zero. Zero current. By the time you connect this, there is an surge, instant value of surge. May inapod kitang, may inapod kitang, uh, open circuit voltage. When you connect this, connect this, there is a present of voltage here, and you call that open, open circuit, voltage. <clears throat> the open circuit posted, the open circuit, once already connected, There is this so-called closed circuit. Voltage. Usually, an open circuit voltage is higher than closed circuit voltage. Gusto ko ibig sabihin, kapag nakaplug ito, na una mo nakaplug ito, ito, Maaring 5 volts, uh, more than 5 volts. But actually, you need here in the cell phone is only 5 volts. So let's say this this one is already 
Just, let, let's say this rise is about 5.5 volts. Kasi open circuit niya, mataas. Once na i-connect mo itong load, sa kasi yan, bababa sa 5 volts. Ano nangyari? During the initial condition, uh, upon connecting your cell phone to the charger, your cell phone already experienced a high voltage. Kumbaga, at a, high, uh, a higher surge. Higher surge. And then, pag nagkaroon ng higher surge, naka-experience muna siya ng higher voltage bago siya bababa. Pero kung nakakonect na yung cellphone, by the time you connect this, immediately the load will be sensed by the charger so that the right voltage will already uh, that will be the voltage that will immediately uh, that will outright go into the cell phone kasi nasa sense na yung output ng charger nasa sense na yung load current ng cell phone so pag saksak mo dito makikita niya ang lag, uh, ito lang load current na kailangan okay uh, may mini manufacturer recommend that it should be the charger first be plugged into the outlet to the 220 volts then afterwards the cell phone to the uh, connector con as this type c or type type c or type uh, micro it should be igwa naman na uh, Isaksak mo muna yung charger sa kanaso cellphone. Uh, so, it, it, actually, there should be a defining advantage on the, on the two processes. Dapat merong isang advantage sa yung processes. And for me, well, the one which is more, uh, kumbaga, more reliable, will be the closed itong nasa closed circuit saksak po muna yung cell phone saka mo yung saksak yung except that the possibility without of without knowing that the charger is defective kasi kung defective niya maaaring tuma, bumigay ng mataas na voltage niyan kasi sira ng cell phone pero in the same way kung tanggal mo na ito saka mo ilalabas doon tapos si ipapasok mo yung cell phone pa, paano kung Ano, mas mataas nga yung voltage tapos pinasok mo no. Hindi mo na mahanta. Okay? So, just like in putting off, on and off of your uh, electronic gadgets like TV, your stereo, your audio equipment. So, just like of this. Like sa ginagawa mo, you plug in the, you plug in the uh, socket and then that's the time you switch on. Okay? Pag i-plug mo dyan, off pa sa nasa switch, maka-plug mo na sa kumunin sa switch. Okay. Importante, ganun ang sistema para <clears throat> By the moment you plug the, you are able to check that this, this circuit from here to here is already okay. So when you switch this, you expect that from here to the load is going to be okay. Pero kung naka-close ang switch tapos i-plinag mo dyan, actually that is going to read a... Uh, the, the 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 glitches that we are trying to avoid yung na produce na spark yun ang ina avoid natin okay anyway nowadays electronic devices have are being provided with uh, you know soft start circuit yung mga soft start circuit na kapag inon mo hindi ang voltage rise Hindi sudden, kundi tumatas mo na. 
ano, uh, soft start. O, nangyayari yung mga soft start circuit na yun eh. Uh, this is the current. This is the uh, current or voltage against time. Pag sinits mo, hindi naman siya agad papalo para tumaas. Kundi it takes some time to build up. So this is the time where from zero to the maximum value will be <coughs> will be the rise of the current okay <coughs> any question about <coughs> about the safe <coughs> on electrical safety okay <clears throat> what are the risk of Ano anong mangyayari kapag ito ba yung poste ano? Tapos may may mga insulator diyan, insulator diyan, insulator diyan. Okay. Tapos nag-ulan. Ito, there is rain. What is the effect of rain here? Ah, Sometimes the effect of rain is, although it is seldom that the effect of rain is that, uh, so so connection dito, I apiktado ng ulan. When this when this uh, is damp with rain, naglulusen yung ano connection. So kaya pag magmauran baga. Mari sa muna <coughs> nagba-brown out. Pag umuran nga, nagluluya na ang signal kan ko. It is because of the anomalies in the power lines. Limba, itong ray na ito. Pag ito nabasa, itong insulator nabasa, mangyayari, yung tubig magiging conductor. Para yung so high voltage dito, 13.8 volts. We'll see it's other with the ground. O kaya yam baga minsan kumi nagkukurap kurap yan kung kira kipi yan. Especially when this insulator is already damaged. Okay, due to damage, damage insulator. The damage insulator will cause a conduction from the line to ground where the noise is generated. Okay, there is a noise. Sa electrical, pag sinabi natin na noise, that's a kind of signal that is not necessary. Gaya ng mga glitches, gaya ng mga voltage spike and surge. Those are noises. Kaya nga noise. Dahil uh, practically, kapag ginamit mo na po na pasok yan sa audio equipment, maririnig ang noise na yan. Nag, nag click yan. That's why <clears throat> in rainy days, sometimes it is advantage that kapag nagkaroon ng brown out, tanggalin mo na yung electrical device mo. Kasi pag bumalik yan, hindi ka sigurado kung anong behavior ng mga porcelain dyan. At kung dae, by the time that it becomes wet because of the ionization, ano? ionization of air, 
ano yung season cut eh, naging charge kung ang hangin naging positive discharge, eh, naging ionized siya. O kapag nag-ionize nag eh, the tendency of the high voltage is to jump through the conductor then down to the ground. So that anomaly is actually very bad because it it adds up to the consumption of the electric bill at the same time it prevents the uh, <clears throat> it prevents the flow of the uh, charge i mean <clears throat> Instead that it insulates, the charge will flow through and then produce the so-called surges. So instead na mag-prevent mag siya ng surge, siya ang nagiging dahilan na magkaroon ng surge. So, hindi naman yan maiwasan kasi ang quality, ng, ang quality ng maintenance ng mga cooperative natin, electric cooperative, hindi mo yan maka hindi mo yan madidiktahan. O, di ba? So, wala tayong magagawa. Kaya, kapag nakikita mo nagkukurap-kurap ang kuryente, nag -flak pag nagkukurap-flactuate, tanggalin mo na. Tanggalin mo na yung mamahalin mo uh, gamit. Kasi, kapag nagpatuloy yan, naku, tatamaan yan, sayang. Alright? <coughs> Uh, excuse me, my lag. Let me attend to this. <clears throat> okay. Um, any question about electrical safety, electronic safety? Aram, aram yun yung ining. May mga ano, may mga electronic devices na waterproof maski mabasa, okay lang. Uh, except when ang tubig ay may kasamang acid o may kasamang impurity like metal. So that that water when it gets into your device, the impurity will cause some, you know, some conduct. conduct conduction so there will be current that can circulate in the device to cause heat and the heat will destroy the device pero kung tunay na tubig yan hindi talaga hindi yan mag hindi yan magkoconduct ng electricity okay pure water is a very good conductor uh, remember the Water is a... Kaya nga yung, di ba, yung, yung tubig ng baterya, di ba, yung battery. Oh. Yung battery mo, nilalagyan mo ng distilled water. Okay. Oh, this is the negative, positive. Ito yung plate ng battery. Ito yung electrolyte. <coughs> So, kapag mababa na, itatap up mo ito para tumaas ang uh, production ng electrons. Ang ilinalagay mo dito is distilled water. That's why distilled water is, a, is an insulator. Kapag nalagyan mo yan ng mineral water, uh, magsushort circuit yan. Mas ma sigurado yan. Ma ma Kasi itong battery at saka yung mineral na nandyan, magkakaroon ng internal conduction. Yung internal conduction na yan will cause heat inside the battery. Iinit yung baterya mo. Pag uminit yung baterya mo, masisira na yung mga plates. Okay, so yan ang isa sa mga risk ng intrusion ng tubig sa electronic device. 
Kung talagang pure na tubig yan, no worry ka dyan. Pero pag may kasamang minerals or acid, wala, sisira ang device mo. <coughs> Okay, uh, 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 up to this time. <laughs> is there any is there any question? Is there anything you want uh, to know further about the electrical safety? Makahiling ka si mga si mga electrician ka tungo na on. Pigdudut-dut ninda ang Pumatisting kang kwan, di dutdut. Oh, huwag gagayahin nyo. Kasi kapag ginaya mo yun, maaari yung kamay mo medyo, medyo malambot, malinis, pwede yung pumutok na kamo. Sabi mo yan. Yung mga tao na yun na dinudutdut, malamang may mga kalyo, Mag makapal ang finger, that's why hindi dumadaan yung elektrik rin kasi mataas ang resistance. Okay? Napakataas ang resistance, mababa ang current na dadaan, kaya okay lang sa kanila. Pero ikaw na walang kalyo ang finger, you never dare to touch the bare wire with your bare finger. Otherwise, you get electrification. Okay? By the way, in the line, saan ba yun? Ah... Uh, You ask me. Sana ba yun? By the way, how many balls, if you guess, how many balls is enough? If this is the line, this is you. Okay. You touch that line. And this is you. How, how many volts from here do you think is enough to kill you? Okay. The lowest voltage I think is 70 volts. Kung magkataon kahit 70 volts lang ito mula sa line tapos dito sa ground kapag na kuan mo maaari kang ma maremati 70 volts pero kung mga 48 50 hindi, hindi pa yan kung kaya yung welding machine mo baga yung welding machine niya may mga voltage na I think the highest is 56, 56 volts ang open circuit voltage. Pag nagtatrabaho na, bumababa na sa <coughs> bumababa na sa kwan. Uh, 42, even uh, 42 volts, 48 volts, or even 36 volts na lang. Okay? Okay. <coughs> Now, um, did you try to browse the? Did you try to browse the link that I sent to you? Actually, kada ako ligo pang aning libro downloadable. Oh, itong kwan ito. Ano may libro? Padako lo. Download. So, I will expect that you will spend time in browsing this book. Padako na libro. 
Oh. Ito. Uh, almost everything in the book is, you know, then na kayo po magpareisip kung pa paano, you know. Uh, babasahon na lang. I think I don't have to lecture this because it will be and yan ay, anytime you pwede mo yung mga ano yan. Uh. <coughs> I'm trying hard to, I'm really trying hard to draw a figure. Kasi ang ginagamit ko mouse, uh, you know, na, nalingawan ko si Pandarang Ligi sa Legaspi. I'm here in Legaspi City, by the way, at this moment. And I have to visit my son, my mother. It's Valentine's Day. Uh, by the way, I uh, may I greet you. Happy Valentine. Happy Valentine to everybody. The purpose why I came here in I visit the Gaspi because my mother and my son is here. So I have to meet them. My the other the other children are in Naga City. My wife is in Naga. So <laughs> happy birthday. Ah, happy Valentine. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Valentine. <clears throat> Don't worry so much about that Valentine. What is important is you have a good heart all the time. Baka yung Valentine, yung good heart mo, ngayon lang. <clears throat> Tomorrow, iba na naman. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> okay, any, any, is there anything you want me to know with respect, with regards to the safety the electrical safety that will be electronic safety that we talking about